the night, I hear him talk the cold story ever told. Somewhere far along this road, he lost his soul to a woman so heartless. All right, this is going to be a feeding video on my aunt's water dragon. She's in Puerto Rico for a week, so I'm babysitting, or I would like to say reptile sitting her water dragon. As you can see, she really kind of mistreats him. He's kind of skinny, so I've been trying to fan him up for her. And I'm going to feed him a lobster roach. That thing right there, climbing up the glass. He's actually a real good um, feeder. And I wouldn't say she's mistreating him because a way to tell if a water dragon or iguana is healthy is by their skin. Uh, when they're like very unhealthy, they were they would turn like dark brown, which means they're dying. And he's actually a nice bright green. Oh, that's nasty. All right, let's get another one. Oh, there's one big one right there. I just recently found this out, but every once in a while when I grab them and like I pin them down, they start to make, whoa, sorry about that, so they start to make like a, almost like a robotic noise, sounds like they're like electrocuting or something, but they start making like a threatening noise, which is pretty weird. Alright, trying to feed this lobster roach. Oh no. Whoa. Hmm. She got him. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find that for you. That's your fault. But anyways, I recommend feeding lobster roaches to like leopard geckos and other lizards or whatever because a lot of roaches have high protein like Madagascar hissing cockroaches and everything else but then what it comes with them is you need to feed them to only like large reptiles because they have like armor skin I mean armor shell and for small reptiles like leopard geckos and um I don't know like goat geckos and random little small lizards it's hard for them to digest them and they end up like staying in their stomach or whatever and these lobster roaches are nice decent size about the size of a cricket or bigger and then they have protein or whatever which is better than a cricket and then they have a nice soft body like you would think they'll have a hard exterior but they're actually pretty soft so which makes them easy to digest the only thing that comes with them is the fact that they climb glass and are extremely annoying and then they're very active they're running like crazy all right guys i hope you enjoyed it's my aunt's lizard right there peace